Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Matt McNeil coming to you from the garage. Working on some Amy's tonight. Not only man, working on some Amy's, but I'm getting some Amy's done. Look at this. We got four, no, five. We're talking 11 through 15 here, which is awesome. Super, super excited about that. Uh, and what was cool is when I was working on this Amy, uh, her hair sort of fell on her face, which reminded me a lot of the scene where, uh, Charlie, you said you wouldn't let him get me. But, uh, so yeah, this might be an interesting sort of like, uh, hair, hair, uh, style for anybody displaying one of these Amy's. Anyway, I thought it was kind of neat. Uh, but what I wanted to talk to you about tonight is something that our good friend, Louis Fry turned me on to in regard to hair. Now, if anybody remembers with these Amy wigs, I have been using these lace wigs, right? Remember that? We've been talking about lace wigs and weaving the hair into the widow's peak. Well, one of the things that Lewis told me about was this. So not only am I now using this tool, which is the, uh, the tool that you use to weave or vent uh, a lace wig, but he turned me on to this, which is a um, felting needle, which is a needle with barbs on it. And what it allows you to do is to, uh, come on now, it, uh, it, it allows you to punch hair, which is um, something that I've never been really patient at or good at. But I will tell you, and I'll show you, what I've been up to with these last five Amy's. It's allowed me to punch the hair along the hairline that I was otherwise having to glue down, uh, which is really, really, really awesome. And what it does is it does two things. Not only does it look really good along that hairline, but when you're styling her hair, it gives you a little bit of this sort of like platform for this outer hair to rest on, which I'm kind of digging. So uh, yeah, this is a really cool discovery. Um, and it works as you would expect. You take a loop of hair uh, and you punch through the loop, pull everything back and it will leave a punched line or a punch area and you just continue down a line here and here and all along here. And if I wanted to fill out the widow's peak at all, it allows me to correct anything that, uh, that I, I might've missed when I was venting the wig. But, uh, yeah, I think that this is a really cool way, particularly for entry level hair punching. Uh, and again, not to take anything away from people who are punching hair, like, like punching, punching hair with one of those like fort and things and I'm going to tell you that's really really difficult but the the felting needle does a really good job um, of allowing you to punch a hairline and latex because a lot of guys you know they only do silicone or, or whatever but uh, this works really great in latex so I'm really really happy with the way that they're coming out but uh, anybody that has ordered an Amy and uh 11 through 15 we are closing in now i will tell you that one of these is number 10 and i think i might have a number seven in here from an earlier version because they they ordered a different set of eyes uh from the fourth seal eyes which are these uh mike this is this is your copy right here um but uh yeah so i i, I got a set of the other eyes in and then i got a set of four seal eyes in um, or five sets of four seal eyes in. So we are we are really, really rock and rolling. And today I got all the wigs applied, even to the ones without eyes at the moment. Uh, they're waiting on eyes, but I got all the wigs glued in. Uh, and on the ones that had eyes and hair, I went ahead and I did our clothes. And as we speak, my daughter is in the process of printing uh, the stands, which look like this. This is the base for the stand. Obviously, this has not been resined yet, but uh, this is what the stand looks like. And um, they all come with one of these, which is awesome. This sort of cross here. 
which is very, very similar to the one that Charlie is holding up, even to the point where it's got the hanging thing on the back um, towards Amy when she finally lifts her head and says, Charlie, you told me you wouldn't let him get me. Which, uh, again, I think is kind of an interesting display look with the hair in the face because this is the moment where she lifts her face and we see it for the first time. So anyway, um, yeah, anybody that's interested in one of these felting needles, this is a really cool tool. I'd never even heard of it or thought of it or whatever until uh, Lewis, um, who does a lot of uh, finishing work. So if you haven't seen Lewis's stuff, be sure to check him out. Um, but uh, this is what uh, he turned me on to in regard to uh, quote unquote punching hair. And again, it's a needle that has uh, some barbs on it. And uh, yeah, you can punch a hairline. And so far, so good, you know? And so I went ahead and all, on all of these five, I've punched all of these sort of like side hair areas. And uh, I'm a fan. So check these out, they're on Amazon. Literally, they're like seven bucks and you get like 30 needles. Like, look at all the needles. Sorry, I've been doing hair today. But uh, like you get all of these needles and a little cheap handle and uh, you can kind of go for broke. So anyway, anybody that needed a, a cool idea for punching hair, uh, it's a really cool entry level. Maybe it's not a substitution for uh, legit hair punching. I'm gonna say maybe it is because <laughs> I've had a lot of success with it today. Uh, and again, we've done one, two, three, four, five. And actually I went ahead and I punched the hair on six, seven, and there's an eight around here somewhere. Oh, eight, you're hiding over there, right? We just need to get some eyeballs in these ones. But uh, yeah, we are rocking and rolling. So if you are in any of these groups, it's getting ready to happen because we got stands being made this weekend. And uh, I bet you, before the end of next week, some of these girls are going to be in the mail. So uh, be ready. Makes me very happy. Happy Fourth of July. Have a great weekend, guys. This is what I'm up to. These are my fireworks. All right. Talk to you soon. Have a good one.